Hello and welcome to Go East uh, Festival for Central and Eastern European Films. My name is Dominic Streib and I am the program coordinator of the festival. Next to me on the TV screen is Marco Dordovic, the director of My Morning Lotter, a film which we have shown in competition this year. And thanks uh, that you are here, Marco, uh, via and Zoom. And thank you for wanting to, to speak with me. I yeah, for sure. I love your film. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> really? That's the most important thing, yeah. Um, and we can stop now, I think. <laughs> yeah, the Q&A is finished. <laughs> yeah, the Q&A. So first, thanks a lot for this uh, wonderful, funny, kind of strange coming-of-age movie because it's about an almost 30-year-old protagonist, Dejan. What was uh, your intention for making a film about a person who is nearly 30 years old and is kind of overprotected by his woman and doesn't want to take the responsibility as an adult, I think? And there was... A quote from David Foster Wallace, which, which come to my mind uh, in, in an essay, he wrote, It is unimaginably hard to do this, to stay conscious and alive in the adult world, day in and day out. So I think that's something which could fit to Dejan. So what were your intentions and what do you think of connecting it to this quote? Uh, well, my intentions, uh, I don't know what my intentions were, uh, 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 except to make a, uh, something that uh, that moved us. I mean, that um, I, I mean, to feel the impulse for making the film that will be interesting for us, first of all, for the crew making the film. We are all friends. So it's more, we, we chose to make a small film, uh, almost with no budget, uh, because we thought we can get the full control over the dialogue, the, the specific shots, and to, you know, and we were also, uh, I don't know, we, we believed in ourselves, but at the same time, we had a lot of struggles with making this story, I mean, the structure of the film, that was the most difficult thing. But the, your question uh, is um, about young people, and I believe in Serbia here, uh, because of you know, turbulent times in the 90s, and uh, our parents uh, seem to overprotect us from the cruel world outside, you know, the wars and everything. So I believe we are, my generation, the 30-year-olds, are somehow uh, overprotected and uh, unable to cope with, you know, life. In a, in a, I mean, it, it's not, of course, uh, true for all of us, but I mean, I see a lot of young uh, people, especially men, that are feeling a little bit weak. And uh, I thought it's in interesting to to make a film about that particular thing, you know, and the things that our mothers speak to us and uh, the friend, you know, the specific things, how it is to be like um, growing up here in Serbia these times. And maybe avoiding to take the responsibility for being yes. that, uh, being an adult, yes? Yes, yes. That's the, the, the main thing, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, you cannot blame the parents, but you, of, of, of course you can, I mean, it's, uh, we don't take responsibility, but also I th think it's most, most important thing, this is the film. So we, we were also very aware that we are making shots that uh, speak to us like, that are interesting with acting, with camera angles and everything, you know? Yeah, and also for sure, uh, you talked about acting and the camera angles and also I think uh, Philip Durich, the actor yeah. uh, which plays Dejan, he's uh, unforgettable in this film because uh, in really every every scene of the film you see uh, how, he's, how he struggles with his inner world and there's always an inner tension which articulates also in his gesture and his movement. Everything is uh, hesitating, every movement is unsure and he doesn't know where to put his hands. Also in the last scene, one of the most interesting sex scenes I have seen in, in the last uh, years in films, he sits mm -hmm. there and doesn't know where to put his hands, going over his face, on the knees, on the, on the armchair. And how was the work with Philip on that? And how you manage it so that it is such a well effort at the end? Uh, first of all, thank you. I mean, for everything you said. And uh, as for Philip, he's, um, he's my friend also. So mm -hmm. it's somehow stupid for me to say that he's the greatest actor out there. <laughs> so I feel a little bit, I don't know, it's too much. I mean, uh, because we, we are close friends. So, but uh, all, um, 
but what you will be talking about that's the most important thing for me because that's the creative part of making it uh, when you forget about all this uh, political stuff or social commentary on every all these re really clever things then you get to the, to these particular things like gestures or little words or uh, you know smiles or or how to make a sex scene uh, interesting so for me uh, the most important thing with this film are these little, little things that i don't see too much in author film i mean because most of the time it gets uh, uh, it's it's not that important as the big theme uh, the, the concept that uh, that the, I, I i think that the, the the most of this of course there are great films still but there are so many author films that get lost in the concept and this film is also a little bit it has too much of a concept i think but also at, at, at great at, at right moments in the film i believe that you can feel that you don't know what will happen next in terms of not in terms of story but in terms of uh, like this how what Dan is and what he will make. Is he going to, to, to break something or is he going to start crying or smiling? Okay, and then we can come to the visual approach uh, which you have chosen for the film because there are a lot of, uh, I mean, it's all long static uh, shots and uh, really kind of weird angles of the camera where people are moving in, people are moving out. Heads are cut it off and something, and also the, the, the rooms are really strange sometimes in these angles. Uh, so for me, I think it really corresponds great to the, to the acting. But you also said you won't go to any form from another film director. You wanted to create something uh, on your own. Maybe you have some words for that? Yes, but so difficult, I mean, to create uh, something uh, unique. And I don't, need, I don't think I have managed it in this film, of course, but sometimes and some points i believe that uh, we got it really right and it, that it doesn't feel pretentious uh, that was uh, also a big struggle for me because uh, you know to not feel this great concept of uh, you know cut off heads or static shots but also when when choosing these camera angles it was important for me and I'm, I struggle with it a lot and I try to be as much as I can in this mood, not to think too much. I mean, uh, not to analyze too much, not to be too rational when making it. So uh, when I was doing it that way, uh, when I was free to not judge it, I mean, not to analyze it rationally, I think it worked. But sadly, in some shots, you can feel the, the, this concept. Uh, but I, I, I believe it's not, it's not, it will not ruin, ruin, it didn't ruin the film, but I, I, will, I will try to be better in the next film. The takes are so long, there is so much to experience in the, in the, in the yes. image, especially in the image where he's visiting his father in the, in the, in the yes. hospital. There is uh, this big TV screen in the middle of the, of the image. On the left, there is uh, some other guy with a respirator, I think. Yes. And uh, there is Deja next to his father who doesn't know how to how to move. Yes. <laughs> and then there's the other guy, which you don't see, who wants to get the results of a basketball yeah. game or something. Yeah. And that's such kind of a weird thing. But I really yeah. liked it because there's so much to see in the, in the frame. Yeah. Yeah, I was also like you. I mean, I was also looking as a director. I was looking, is it is it uh, interesting? The first thing is, is it? But also, I believe uh, in this kind of um, acting I, I was so interested in acting i mean in directing actors so i believe that even the camera is static you can feel it somehow moving pulsating when the dan is at his like nervous best i mean when he is like uh, creating tension philip jurich so i believe that that colors the scene somehow and also this few elements because it's of the aesthetic frame a static shot you can see all the details that we really invested a lot i mean this film is all about these little things placed in right i hope right moments and right positions i read in an interview that you're a big fan of amateurism uh, yes 
and I mean that's that's uh, nothing against you, but you you can see it in the film because it has this look, and the rooms look some kind of weird, and I really uh, adored it. So, what do you like at amateurism so much? And maybe you can tell us a bit more about financing this real independent film. For me, somehow uh, uh, to make a professional Serbian film is somehow ridiculous. I don't know. I cannot uh, imagine it. I mean, I have a, a really problem with big budget Serbian films and because something isn't right. <laughs> and um, for me, at least. Uh, so, um, of course, you have Kusturica, but he's uh, on another level, kind of. Uh, he, he really knows how to deal with those, these kind of, you know, uh, huge amount of extras and everything. But... Um, I, but but also with Kusturica, you know, uh, I I believe that it's so interesting to for this um, uh, uh, for this approach, like uh, to approach it like amateur in terms of not knowing what you're doing really, uh, trying to find a fresh angle on things, even if you're stupid and, and sometimes, and even if you're clumsy and. But I, I I really believe that uh, it's so that there's so much of clever. Uh, well constructed stories right now from I don't know HBO or Netflix. I mean, I mean, uh, and you in America you really have these great screenwriters who write these perfectly constructed stories. So I don't see myself in coming near to them. You know, to the NBA, or, and I'm not really interested in playing this kind of basketball. So I really do believe in making things unique and. Uh, fresh and that it, it will also be interesting for this one hour and a half, you know, that will keep attention. Yesterday, when I preparing for this talk, I, I read through the press material again of, of the film and then I saw the poster of the film and yeah. I thought, okay, I see the poster and expecting a totally different movie <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. because there you have uh, Dejan uh, <laughs> smiling next to a baby which is screaming. And yeah. I thought, okay, what what does the post poster say? Will he take responsibility for for his life, maybe getting a child? And 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 do you thought about that, or, or was your what was your intention to create the poster in that way? Uh, the, the poster is, is also the, the part of the the the, the, pre the the things that I was speaking about in previous question. I mean, creating, um, you know, trying not to think too much and uh, to get. Um, to to create a world really i mean uh, you know like you all you 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 have okay these big big movies like big hollywood movies that are so important to to all of us i mean when growing up and everything so you i want to create a world also and uh, uh, and um, this poster uh, makes uh, 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 one step further in that direction i mean to imagine Dan's life after the film And also, it was a counter, uh, counter uh, opposite of the uh, kind of the the mood of the film. But also, there is a kind of vibrating thing. Also, I, I believe in the, in this poster uh, because of baby crying, then smiling. There is energy to it, and uh, and uh, and also there is something that I, that there is no not too much of the. An An analytic part of my brain making this, you know, I was just one day I was thinking about oh poster with the baby because these are all the questions that we were speaking about. Is it okay for our generation who doesn't take responsibility have their own children? I mean, uh, and uh, we were speaking a lot how funny it will look Dan when speaking with a child. I mean, because they are on the same level somehow, and this you know, on the same level, yeah. So th 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 these were all the the things that we were speaking about we were making it and some there are a lot of scenes that were scrapped i mean the footage was thrown away or also while writing we we removed a lot of it but somehow this scene with baby and the then make it to the post my morning lotto was your your debut feature film i think so do you have uh, already projects in mind what will Follow to my morning ladder, maybe the story as Dijan as a father. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it isn't like like that. I mean, it's not a sequel to the my morning ladder, but it's uh, the the I, I I'm close to finishing the script for the next film, and then 
apply for fundings next year. So, but it's, it, it, it really is a, a story about um, uh, one uh, family with a dog. And uh, we're trying to also find a new angle to the, for this story about a happy family, I would say, in these turbulent times somehow. I mean, the poster somehow connects, I believe, these two films True. in a way. Okay, I'm really excited about it. Thanks a lot for your time. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your great, really, question, great questions, really, and for really seeing the film and all these little things in it. So thank you. To our audience, when you want to watch uh, My Morning Lotto, you can do it um, uh, ex ground on demand, as well as the other competition films uh, from Go East this year. And there you can also vote for our audience award. Yeah.